Hey y'all. So I know that uh, a lot of you are starting the process or you've already begun the process or you're about to finish the process of uh, applying to be teachers here and that is wonderful. And I'm so happy and excited for you um, and hope to see you all when you come here. But I've gotten a lot of requests lately because of this for a what should I pack kind of thing. Um, a lot of the things that I wish that I had packed actually are girl kind of things um, or things that I'm grateful that I packed. Uh, they're kind of girly things. So I think this is going to be more useful for females than it is for the dudes. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> That's just the way it is. Um, but you can watch anyway because you're awesome like that. Uh, okay, so the first thing I would say that I um, am happy that I packed and I almost wish I had packed more of is flat out shoes. Um, and I say this not because you can't find shoes here. If your feet are maybe a size 8 or smaller, in fact, um, I wouldn't really be that concerned with buying shoes, I mean, with bringing that many pairs of shoes at all because most um, stores go up to size 250 in Korean size which I think is like an 8 something like that um, however if you are like me I am a full 178 centimeters tall with a size nine and a half foot that is right I do in fact have man feet do not judge me I also have man hands um, it's going to be a lot more complicated for you. Um, I have managed to find one pair of intentionally female shoes here that were my size and that was at a Forever 21 so it's not even really Korean shoes um, and they were maybe 20, 25,000 won I think with tax which is reasonable um, but yeah if you if you want shoes um, and specifically if you like hiking I really wish I had brought a pair of hiking boots uh, because there's a lot of hiking around my area and I can't really partake in that until I purchase some hiking boots which I have not done yet. But if you have no problem with wearing men's shoes, which is kind of what I've been thinking about lately, because in fact you can buy a pair of pink shoes that are men's shoes here. Just food for thought. Um, so they'll actually look pretty girly. So maybe I'll just go do that. Um, another thing, and this is not something that I have had any problems with because, quite frankly, I am not particularly well endowed in the chesticles area, um, but I know that a lot of girls have issues with this. Ladies, if you are a, maybe a C or above, bring your own bras. Like, I have no problems shopping um, for those kinds of things here because I am actually quite uh, similar to most Korean women in that sense but if you seriously if you're well endowed in the chest area ladies you, you gotta bring it over from home um, okay another thing though that I wish that I had packed actually and this is kind of a weird one I guess and it's really specific to me I have this not obsession but I really really care about the way that I smell and Korean shampoos and Korean um, like lotions and things like that they they all kind of have the same scent it's kind of like a floral scent you really can't get like a dark musky scent here and my favorite scent is like a black currant vanilla um, which I know they sold at like Bath and Body Works and stuff back home and I cannot find it here I have managed to find some rose lotion which is good because it smells you know a little more womanly but there's a lot of cute smelling stuff here, not a lot of womanly smelling stuff here. So I really do wish that I had brought over some more like scents that I really, really like because I have spent a lot of time hunting down scents um, that I enjoy. Also, a lot of the shampoos here have like a pump um, opening thingy and you can't actually like pop the lid and sniff it when you're in the store. Drives me batshit crazy. Like, I don't know what my Korean shampoo is going to smell like until I take it home, and if I don't like it, then I just, like, wasted my money because I don't really want to use it then because then I'm going to be, like, haunted by this weird childish floral scent the rest of my, like, day that I, you know, 
have my hair washed with that shampoo. So that kind of drives me a little crazy. I wish I had brought more. And so I've ended up going to like certain stores that sell foreigner shampoos and shelling out some bigger bucks just so that I can have scents uh, that I actually know and enjoy from back home. So that's kind of a bummer for me. Uh, likewise, deodorant. You can find deodorant here, but it is a lot more expensive. And considering the fact that deodorant doesn't weigh much, you might as well just buy it in bulk and bring it over. That's actually what I did. I'm really happy that I did that. Um, girls, once again, um, if you are a fan, boys, look away, look away. Um, if you're a fan of tampons, um, bring your own. You will be able to find them here, but they're more expensive and um, in like very small packs which could be a nuisance. So just, just, just bring your own, your favorite brand. However, if you like pads, there are like entire aisles dedicated to them, so I wouldn't be too concerned if you're that kind of chick. Um, for the guys, uh, da, 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 I would say if you like to cook, I know a lot of my guy friends like to cook, I don't really like to that much, but I did in fact bring um, some of my favorite spices over, because there are a lot of weird spices that you can't really get here. Um, I mean, not weird spices. There are a lot of spices from back home that you can't really get here or you have to shell out some big bucks to do it. So, for example, I'm from Louisiana. I brought over some Tony's. <laughs> Fly out, brought over my Cajun seasoning because I knew that I was not going to be able to find it here. And I obviously have not been able to find it here. So I'm glad that I've got that huge container of Tony's to sprinkle on everything, like magic Cajun berry dust. Um, let me think. Is there anything else? If you're tall, uh, as a guy, I know that a lot of the guy pants here are like skinny jeans. So you might want to bring over a lot of pairs of jeans. But uh, I, I got this weird, like, somebody told me over there um, that you couldn't get jeans here. Like, jeans are more expensive. So I brought over a ton of jeans. Blatant lie. You can get as many jeans as you want. Um, you might not be able to try it on in the store which could be frustrating, but as far as shopping goes, um, you can definitely find pretty much anything here. Uh, for girls who are really tall like me, yes, the dresses will look like big t-shirts on you, so if you want to buy dresses, um, specifically like club gear, I'd probably bring that over as well. I actually didn't do that much clubbing back home, and I do actually do it a lot more here, simply because it's a really easy way to hang out with your friends and meet people, and it's pretty cheap and it's something to do, but it's, it's a really good way to just meet other foreigners here, is like go to a kind of exchange or something and they usually end up going to a club later. So if you want to have appropriate gear for that and you are freakishly tall, like me, um, I would suggest bringing over some cute dresses or something, otherwise you're going to have to like, you know, figure out ways to accessorize or I end up wearing shorts and a t-shirt a lot of times, which is not really... You know, I'm not going to blend in that way, put it that way. Um, a lot of girls wear like dresses and stuff. Um, but yeah, the other thing is bring uh, at least, at least 500 won when you come over here. Um, get it ahead of time, like just get it at an exchange or, or whatever because you're not going to get paid for like a month after you get here. And they do, some schools will give you a stipend in cash, but mine didn't. And that left me kind of screwed. Um, so I ended up having to pull from an ATM, and it was just stressful. So I would bring at least, you know, a good bit of money, get it exchanged ahead of time. It's not going to cost you that much in the States. So that way, when you get over, you can spend all of your time just enjoying Korea and not having to worry about financial issues until, you know, later. Uh, my, I guess my other advice for those of you trying to come in is learn Hangul. That's the other thing I would say. So just bring money, learn Hangul. Um, and just pack your favorite scents, deodorants, uh, things that you can't get here, scent, uh, spices and stuff like that. Things from home. Also pictures if you want to bring those for your students. But I find Facebook is a thing and I've got a whiteboard so, I mean I've got a computer so you know, I just show it on my computer so I don't really need actual pictures that my first graders can destroy. Not that they wouldn't, the little angels. <laughs> okay. Anyway, this video is running really long. Sorry, guys. Um, let me know what you want me to talk about next. Just comment below or send it to my Tumblr, which I do check and I answer questions a lot more frequently on there. So if you need a more immediate answer to a question, ask me on Tumblr. You can do it anonymously if you feel like 
If it's an awkward question, I'd be happy to answer it for you. So thanks. See you guys next week. Uh, and bye.